Welcome back! And so we've managed to pick up, what are they called, one of the stones? No, that, whatever they are. And I guess it's time to head for the next one, so... I don't know, which one did we decide we'd go for? It was the scary one or the ice one, wasn't it? I seem to remember. So, yep, scary or ice. We're going to go to the scary one. So we're going to fly up this way. And uh, hopefully it will be easy as pie. Because, uh, yeah. We, uh, we don't want it to be too tough. Just nice, nice and simple would be good. Uh, yeah, it's been a little while. Um, I don't think I played this all week, actually. Uh, I did quite a few in advance because uh, I had a really, really busy week. But that's all done. What is that? <gasps> it's a ship? What? Let's attack it. We've got to attack Is that a monster? What is it? Oh, no, that's where we want to go. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Did we land? Uh, what was the landing button? Oh, man. There we go. Do we land on it, or do we have to... Oh, you're... Right, okay, we're going to need our ship. Oh, sugar. Alright, well, um... That sucks. Where is our ship? All the way over there. Uh, let's just go to the ice one. <laughs> Screw that. Screw that. This is real no point, really. Unless you can make the ship magically appear if you land on this island. Maybe that will happen, I don't know. We'll try that quickly. Uh, that would be very nice. I don't think we've been down here. Where is this? It's a little, little grove that we just found for no reason. Does that move the ship? Oh, hang on. Where are we? Where the heck are we? <laughs> I have no idea, but this seems something. Okay, so we'll just walk along here quickly. Hopefully, we won't run into any monsters. Is that a monster? Is that, that's a tree. I confused a tree for a monster. Okay, there is something here which we don't really want to do. Alright, um. No, I don't know what to do. I reckon if we go to... If we enter one of the places... There's something here. Okay, so enter this place. I don't think we've actually been here before. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Uh, probably something that we need to find on later on, but okay. I don't know. No, we haven't been here before, have we? Is this where we need to go? What? I'm confused. I thought we needed to go on that ship. Okay, no, there's someone here that's not letting us come in. What? Why did you come to this sacred place? We've gone from here. Okay, yeah. So that's somewhere we need to go later, obviously, but okay. So now that we got that on the map, does that move the boat somewhere closer? Now that's the question. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a closer boat trip. And I can't tell looking at this. No, it doesn't move the boat. Okay, so in that case, I don't want to sail around the world. That's going to take forever. So let's go to the ice one. Ugh, well, that was a good waste of three minutes. Hooray. Hooray for us. Yeah. To be honest, I don't need to fly across the continent, do I? Because I can just teleport and then fly from there. Fly high, you're gonna crash into the mountains, silly tangry. It's fine. It's fine, we got away a bit. We got away a bit, okay. So anyway, we are heading to the ice place. This is one continent we haven't actually landed on yet, so I guess that's slightly interesting. I would expect new enemies, but I don't know. They they like just recolouring the same enemies, so typical RPG fashion. Uh, uh, to be honest, it's not that big, big a deal to me. But mm, there you go. This place looks pretty. It looks very really pretty. Very white. Alright, so we're going to fly in here. I guess we just fly straight to the place we want to go. That kind of, yeah, that's the problem with flying thing. It kind of takes away from, look at this, look at this place. But we could land and have a look around, or we could just literally fly up to the entrance that we want to go into, and go into it, which we will do, because we're a lazy sod. We land in some trees. Ha! Huh. Snow tree. <gasps> There's a guy guarding the entrance. What? It's actually a person. Hello. Mean to you. You cannot be entering without the permission of the elder of village rule. You, yes? You do not know where I'm speaking? Simply go self, yes? Okay, so we're looking for... I don't know why he won't let us in. But uh, because I don't want to fight anything and I'm a lazy sod, we're going to fly on Tengri. Just until we find where we need to be. We just said go self. We're looking for a village or something like that. That looks like a village to me. Oh, Tengri, where are you pointing? Oh, Tengri. No, that's not a village. At all. Yeah, that looks like a village. At all. I say a village, it looks like a cave. Caves are villages, right? Right? Oh, this sucks. I can't actually... Tengri, you absolutely suck. You know that? There we go. Right, land down there. This... There is something here. Whether it's a village or not, we'll have to find out, I guess. In we go! Spooky little cave. Maybe it's a secret. Maybe we'll get some... Oh, wow, Ollie's shivering. Oh, you cold, Ollie? You cold? Why, well, you should have brought more clothes down, shouldn't you, dumbass? <laughs> Uh, we got seven ice cream. That's exactly what we want when we're cold. Exactly what we need. Okay, so this was actually just 
This was absolutely pointless. This play. Oh no, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Ready? Oh. Oh, I'm not. Oh, I did not know that was there. Okay, now that was. Now what was the shoot button? <laughs> Who knows? There you go. There you go. Snowblower gem. Cool. I. Uh, yeah, who saw that coming? Not me. <laughs> Whatever. So we get that. We get our lovely stuff. We didn't find the village, which is slightly unfortunate. We really don't know where we're going, do we? That sucks. Come on, game. Tell us where we're going. We know we want to go in that cave, but we also need to visit the city of Yule or something. Stop shivering, everyone. Look at that thing. That thing is awesome. But we're not going to fight it. We don't like fighting. We're peaceful. Peaceful persons. Alrighty. It must be around here somewhere. Anything that looks like a village to anyone? Some sparkly jewelry stuff. Uh, Tengri, can you see it? You'll see cold. I wonder if it's like Pokemon. A, a dragon's like weak to ice? That'd be. Oh my god. It's like four times super effective. Tengri's is gonna die. Yeah. I'm such a Pokemon nerd. There we go, I found it. I win. That wasn't really simply self. Freaking Yeti thing. Didn't know what I was doing. There we go, we found you. What the? What? Oh well, okay, apparently you can't go through the back, you have to go through the front. What kind of... I don't know. I don't I guess, um... I guess the way it enters you into the city changes depending on which side you come in from, so you have to actually come in from the front. Which, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's not like a bad thing, but I was assuming it would be more like, wherever you go, you always enter in the same way, but never mind. We're here now. Uh, we might be here now, if we're loading up. But we actually got in, so there you go. Oh, it's an Eskimo city. Yule, home of the snowfolk. Yes, the snowfolk. And the little pet yeti things. Wow, this place is amazing. It sure is. Look at the lights coming through the snow. It's beautiful. And look at those big fluffy things. I've never seen one before. What are they? Them? Oh, they're called Tom. Tomtes? Ain't it? You only get them by here in the winter wild. Anywhere else, it's too warm for them to see. Really? Wow, they're so cute. Yeah, yeah, they're lovely. Can we talk about this inside? I think I can feel my blood turning to ice. I'll second that emotion. Freezing my bit off, I am. Brr. What? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just. Have... Wow, there's lots of green dots around. Let's see if we can grab people's hearts. Then. Give me your heart. Give me your heart, miss. Okay, heart, hurry up. Get, hurry, 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 hurry. All right, take a heart, here we go. That was a long conversation, who would have thunk it? But there you go, we're done now, we get a heart. Add it to our collection of hearts. And it was... A, what was that? Confidence. That's not bad. We need some confidence, I'm sure. Ollie, why are you... <laughs> He's got a funny little uh, shivering animation. I think that's a, that's a neat little touch. We you take this guy's heart as well? Did these guys did these guys talk? Oh yeah, of course they do. We already spoke to them. Uh, I'm such a muppet. Well, he's got some beliefs that we can take. Yeah. The, the odd conversations like this, I don't really see the point. I don't know. Maybe I'm too lazy, but I don't, never really read them. Even when I play a game, like, by myself. Alright, maybe... If I was playing something like Pokemon, I probably would read it, but then I guess that is completely nutly so. I don't know, I don't really know. Well, it is somewhere. Okay, apparently we want to go in here. According to our little flashy star indicator, which is exactly what we need. And we need to talk to this guy. But first, we'll have a look at this. Maybe we've got some, uh... Have we got any bounce? No, we have no bounces to play. Whatever. Okay, so we're not... Oh, we could start some missions. Let's see what he's got. Yo, dude. Missions. What have you got? What have you got? Anything fun? Here's a new one. Um... None of the- oh, well, we can always pick these up later, like, it's, it's not too big a deal. Let's actually get on with the story for now. Yo, dude! Yo, dude, what do you got? Oh, hello to you! You are being... You are being Oliver, yes? Crikey, Ollie boy! There you were, with Tom's for buddies. And you never even told us. They're secretive, you are. No, you, um, I don't know who you are. How do you know my name? I am learning it from my teacher, yes? She is being your biggest fan. Your teacher? My teacher, yes. She is coming to our village to study the ancient art archaeology. Ar I can't say it. Archaeology, there you go. I am being her pupil, yes. Hello to you. I am being Ike. You're studying archaeology? 
but you're a snow person. Yes, I am a Tom, see? I am being Ike. Hello there, eh? Perhaps you'd like to introduce me to your new friends. Ah, oh, teacher, hello to you. You are being very late, yes? Oh my, Oliver. Goodness, this is such a privilege. Imagine the great wizard Oliver coming all the way out here to this frozen corner of the world. Well, there we go. The great wizard Oliver does this kind of thing, you know, he's a very charitable person. But oh, how perfectly rude of me. I must introduce myself. I am Tabitha. I am a research our professor. You've been reading all about your exploits in the Daily Yarn. You're quite the news personality. The Daily Yarn, eh? That's how the Gremlins learn what's going on in the world, ain't it? Wow, aren't you a logical little thing? Yes, the Daily Yarn is a premier, what? premier news provider for Gremlin across the world. And likely we've been glued to the tales of your adventures. Gee, that's... Thanks, ma'am. It's kind of embarrassing, but thanks. That's perfect nonsense. Embarrassing? Don't be silly. You're a hero. Oh, by the way, I have something to tell you. You're here in search of one of the magic stones to help you restore your wand to its former glory, aren't you? How did you know? Yes, that's exactly why we're here. Then you're in luck. I am Professor of Archaeology, you see, and I'm going to tell you everything I know about Mornstar. Oh, please don't. This could be a really long conversation. Crikey! What are you chances of that, eh? There's a term for the books. Rrr, not at all. According to my research, Mornstar was fashioned by none other than the Wizard King himself. And just prior to settling down to his eternal slumber, he divided the incredible power of the wand and sealed it inside the three magic stones. The stones were entrusted to his most faithful followers in order to prevent the wand's power following falling into wrong hands. His most faithful followers, huh? Do you think that creature we fought on Tombstone Trail would have been one of them? Now, now, concentrate. Prepare yourself for the most important part of what I have to tell you. If my theory is correct, one of those followers and the stone they were entrusted with is in the cave beyond this village known as the Glittering Grotto. Bingo! That must be where the map of the stones was pointing to us. Ah, the map of the stones, you mean? You mean you knew precisely where it was already, so I haven't helped you at all. I am in it... Uh, this, the puns are annoying, disappointed. No, no, that's not true. We don't know anything about the Wizard King or his followers or any of that stuff. Thank you, Professor. Professor Tabitha, what kind of place is the Glittering gro Grotto? Well, as you mentioned, it's a cave just beyond you. The cave marked on the ancient maps as the Moor of the Mi Mountain King. My theory is that the Mountain King and the Wizard King are one and the same. Anyway, the, ma the cave has the power to suck objects into darkness depths. All which leads me to the theorise that one of the Wizard King's magic stones may well be hidden in the deepest part of the grotto. Uh-oh. Uh, I've got a funny feeling about this. Yes, we have... We I'm sure you have, you big, great big wimp. It's called terror. No, it's not that. Shut up. It's intrepidness and um, excitement. Before you go rushing off in pursuit of the stones, you'll need the permission of the village elder to enter the glittering grotto. The village elder? Precisely. And he's away at gathering of the elders at the moment. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to meet him. I was hoping to be able to accommodate you in my home, but I'm afraid there's not enough room there to swing a cat. It's okay, you've done more than enough to help us. Thank you so much, Professor Tabitha. Don't be silly, it's me who should be thanking you. Is that every day you get to provide a renowned hero of help on his legendary quest. There should be room for you all in the inn, just inside the entrance of the village. I hope you have a perfectly wonderful night's rest. Well, okay, um, she's basically like, screw you, put two fingers up and then tells us to bugger off, but there you go. That's fine, I can live with that. So we're heading to the end, which is literally like a minute. No, 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 10 seconds away. Straight in, straight to bed, and then it'll be the morning before we even know it. How good am I? I'm gonna actually get our thing filled up. Welcome, yeah, cat's cradle, stay. Wow, 240, what an expensive night. Yada yada, blah blah, you got a page, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hooray, sleepy time. Yep, there we go, that was sleepy time. Oh, uh, it might finish eventually. That would be nice. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? Cutscene. Oh, oh. 
Ooh. Well, go. well, it is you, the famous Alicia. To what do I owe this pleasure? I see. So you have come to do battle. How very unwise. And you a great sage. <clears throat> what do you hope to achieve? You know that all magic is powerless in my presence. Ah, she sucks. She goes, oh. Foolish girl, I have just the place for you. A prison of eternal darkness. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an interesting cutscene. It didn't really mean anything. I wonder if that's Ollie's dream or just kind of like. Oh, crikey! Sounds like a proper stinger of a dream, Ollie boy. It was. Shadar was there. And Mum, she. she was. she. Shadar, he defeated her, and there was nothing I could do. Calm down, Oliver. It's just a dream. She's right, Ollie boy. And anyway, it wasn't your mum, was he? It was Alicia. Alicia, of course. I guess it was, huh? Sorry, everybody. We will save her. We have to. Of course we flippin' do. That's the whole reason we're on this journey, ain't it? Yes, it is. Great. Glad we cleared that up. Can we go and see the village elder now? Yep. We'd best get going. Oh, I asked the nice lady who runs the inn, and she said his house is over by that big frozen pond on the back of the village there. Alrighty, thank you. That was actually a quick conversation, which is actually nice. And of course, we can just raid the inn quickly for everyone's valuable possessions. Because that's what you do in RPGs. You just wander into people's houses and you like, yoink, yoink, I'll have that. That looks good. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Yada yada. So, we're heading to a frozen pond, talk to the village out. I hope it's an easy conversation. It's like, yeah, off you go, do it. And you'd be like, okay, thanks. And that will be it. Um, should be like that. I doubt it's going to be too tough. Oh, come on. We've got a frosted flan. So which house is it? This one. Okay. This girl here has a potion on to steal. Yada yada, blah blah. Stop shivering. It's not that cold. I wonder if we get some clothes. I have a feeling we'll be given a new outfit. Which is quite fun. Okay, so we that's an emotion we already have. I'm not sure which one, but we already have it. So inside we run. Well, the chance of the village elder being like heartbroken or something just irritated. Wow, he's so cool. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I am thinking you are travelers, yes? The ones who are wanting to head into Glimmering Grotto? Professor Tabitha told me you would be coming. That's us, sir. So, would it be alright if we went inside? It would be being alright, but the train to the north of here is being bitterly cold and very snowy. Don't worry about it, mum. Kid like Ollie boy love a bit of snow, ain't it? Um, it seems you are determined to go no matter what I am saying. Am I thinking correctly? Um, I guess you are, sir. Ho, ho, ho. Then, I will be opening the gate for you now. You should be heading out before the temperature is dropping further. Thank you, Mr. Elder, sir. Oh, I was nearly forgetting. You... Yes, you should surely be dying without them. Huh? Please, wait a moment. I'm bringing them to you right away. There you go. See, I was right. New clothes. What did I say? Oh, right. I'm Mr. Predictor. Oh, tiny, this is proper cozy, <laughs> like. Oh. <laughs> um. well, at least he stopped shivering, which is something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's a little quest inside. And it's probably someone wanting an emotion, so we're going to do that. Probably should have done that before I left and talked to the guy. So, what does he need? He looks very tired. Uh, what's he need? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, no. Hold on, hold on. Have a look. Restraint. I have. Do I have some restraint on me? Do I? Let's find out. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. Well, that worked out nicely, didn't it? We have a few stamps on our card, all that rubbish. So, we've got some restraint here. Have some restraint, my friend. Give me some money in return. That would be very kind of you. Bing, bosh, bang. Oh, he's all fixed. Look at that. Yeah. Hooray, 100. Is, oh, at least that pays for our hit, basically. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. Okay, so now we can go out into the frozen wastes, possibly risk our life, 
possibly die, but we should be getting ourselves a lovely stone, so it should be okay. It should well be worth it. So, I guess we'll call it a day there. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon, hopefully with our second stone underway. Till then, good night.